<laughs> so we got ourselves a contact finally after what like five days <laughs> when did we sink that that heavy cruiser on the 14th and here it is on the 20th so almost a week and we actually have a bona fide contact let's figure out oh my goodness look at this Hey folks, it's Pat here. Welcome back. Uh, leg number three of the USS Swordfish Patrol uh, here with the uh, Silent Hunter 4 running with the uh, Fall of the Rising Sun Ultimate mod. Uh, it's only uh, maybe an hour or two after uh, uh, we got away. Well, they didn't chase us, but uh, after we left the scene of the crime down here where we sank ourselves a uh, Japanese heavy cruiser uh, for 15,870 tons. So possibly earning us some uh, some bling at the end of this patrol if we manage to survive it. <laughs> but I don't know. It uh, depends on this game. Some of the sub games, they pass uh, medals out like candy. Uh, others, you get a little bit more stingy. We'll just have to see how this mod is. But uh, that that's a good kill right there. Boys are happy. Uh, figured out what was going on with the um, silent running in the last one. And uh, thanks to the guys on the subsim forum who uh, apparently answer <laughs> a little bit of searching answers all of your questions, um, and none of mine were very original. But uh, what was going on is uh, switching back and forth between um, uh, the game and my recording software. If you tap between these two things with it in full screen mode, which is what I'm running with it right now, it doesn't work too good. Um, and so some things get jacked up. And so um, I reloaded the game, tried uh, what they told me to do. So we start the recording software first and then just do it live over here. And it works like a charm. And so everything's back to normal, um, including my crew management here, which is... Uh, these guys will switch between these. I won't actually have to drag them between them anymore. So uh, thanks to you guys on the site there for pointing that out. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really glad I didn't jack up my game because I was really kind of concerned there for a little bit that I had glitched something out or something like that. But uh, here's the plan. Uh, we're just oh, – no, wrong map. We're going to just do uh, Jiggy Jaggies back and forth here in our patrol zone. Um, it is uh, the 14th of December. And uh, we have to stick around in here for 10 days, and we've only been here for two, so we've got uh, a little bit of work to do here. And so we'll keep the boat on the surface at night, and then uh, we'll submerge it during the day. And so let's uh, go ahead and bump up the speed here a little bit, and uh, kind of set you up in case you haven't catched the last two, caught the last two videos. Uh, we are the swordfish we left from Manila on the 8th. Uh, we're ordered to patrol over here off Camran Bay. And uh, we spotted a big convoy that was going to go down here and play with the British, probably. <laughs> but we couldn't do anything about it because we had a pesky destroyer on us. Uh, but our patience was rewarded the next night with a uh, task group coming out of T Camran Bay. And we managed to bag ourselves a heavy cruiser out of that one, uh, which was spectacular. And look at that. We just totally, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Get back on course. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Your captain's asleep at the wheel. <laughs> Sitting here trying to <laughs> write the log, man. So um, I forgot that happens when you when you load a game. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll try and uh, figure out all the things in this game as we go. But uh, so far it's working pretty well. Ship spotted. Merchant spotted. Well, I didn't expect that. How do we spot something without actually hearing it first? What the frick? What is this? at five nautical miles wow man someone's got eagle eyes what's his bearing probably about oh two zero let's go take a look oh man so fairly calm seas today looks like a good day so it's something spooking out on around there merchant well <laughs> let's go get us an early morning kill here shall we uh or not I see nothing. Huh. What do we got? Where are we? What is this? What, is, what the heck is this? A little tugboat or something like that. Well, let's go chase it. Uh, it's kind of early in the morning. Yes, sir. Right? Return into course, sir. Yes, sir. What time is it? 7 o'clock? Return into course, sir. You yes, got sir. about maybe half an hour before I'm worried about airplanes. Let's go check this guy out here. What have we got? What is this? 
What's his bearing now? About 330. Oh, look at that. We got a little sandpan out here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I don't think I've ever seen one of this in this game. Huh. How close is he? Can't see him really with the naked eye. What's his bearing again? 320? Yeah, I can't see him with the naked eye. <laughs> It's kind of cool though. Let's go see if we can see him. Do uh, the Superman routine. There he is. Do the Superman routine here. Fly out here and check this one out. So this is a cool little detail in this game. Yeah, the little Japanese fishing boat way down here in Camran Bay. Look at this. Look at these guys. Hey fellas. How's today's catch? Ooh, looking pretty good. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> oh, neat. So well, we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna machine gun the civilians. So we're not gonna commit any war crimes here today. So uh, we'll just leave them be. Uh, let's go ahead and take the boat down. Uh, periscope depth, make your speed. All ahead, two thirds. <laughs> we'll just leave the fishermen be. <laughs> well, who knows? They might have a radio. <laughs> so we will stay the hell away from them. So at least as much as we can. Ah, oh, that's a cool detail. So, good job, guys. <laughs> I hadn't seen one of those in this game before. So, I don't know. Maybe they are in the base game. Um, maybe they are. I don't know. If not, cool. Good job, guys. So, well, let's go ahead and take boat down here. Pop up the scope. And uh, we'll resume our patrol. Uh, we might cut the video here and there. So, if it gets a little boring. Um, because, you know, we could have a legit contact in an hour, or at least one that, that won't pull us up on Geneva card charges. <laughs> so, or it might take a week. And so, um, you know, just bear with me if we cut here. But, uh, you know, that's for your benefit, so you don't have to listen to me blather all day long uh, as well. But uh, let's bring up my log here real quick, just in case we can get any messages. But um, I'm actually, I like this uh, War Patrol zone a little bit more. We've actually had a lot of action here just in two days. And uh, Camran Bay was a, a staging point for a lot of the Japanese invasions down here in Borneo. Uh, specifically uh, about this time frame. And so uh, right here, this, this part of Borneo right here is the modern day Kingdom of Bhutan. Uh, but back in the day, it was British up in here, and then the, most of the island was Dutch. And the Japanese uh, launched a couple of small invasion forces out of here and uh, basically took all of this without a fight. And this is some of the most oil-rich parts of the world up here and up here. And then later, like next month, they'll attack the Dutch down here. Um, and there's another big one down here as well. And then eventually they'll they'll grab this and they'll grab Sumatra and they'll grab Sulawesi. What do we got? What's going on here? Ship spotted? I bet you, I wonder if that's another sandpan. Yeah, look at him, he's pretty close. Yeah, well, look at that. <laughs> we got another one. What's his bearing? I wanna check him out. Are there different kinds of them? So about three, tree, tree zero, tree, tree five? Let's go take a look. Oh, look at this. Beautiful day out here. A good day for fish. Oh, look at that. There's two of them. Oh, cool. Look at that, man. These junks or sandpans. Um, oh, that's neat. Let's go check them out. See how their fishing is today real quick. Get that off there. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful day to fish, boys. Beautiful day. Oh, that's cool looking. Look at that. That's a neat little detail. <laughs> Yeah, check that out. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, again, we're not going to sink those. <laughs> Maybe later in the war we'd be angry enough to do it, but uh, right now, <laughs> it's still kind of a gentleman's game at the moment. Ship spotted? Yeah, no, no, I know. I'll know. take the scope down just in case they do have a radio. <laughs> I'm like, well, uh, what's that? <laughs> you might want to call that in. So. All right, up scope. Yeah, all right, we're we're far enough away. They're probably not paying attention anyway. Well, we're not that far. How far is that? Twenty-seven hundred yards. Yeah, I'm satisfied. Huh? Cool. 
Well, that'll do it for this patrol, folks. <laughs> just kidding so but again we'll, we'll go ahead and cut the video here and uh we'll, we'll come back as soon as something really interesting happens <laughs> or anything kind of cool see you in a few Turn into course, sir. Yes, sir. all right folks it's been a fairly uneventful day um other than just uh, a couple more sampan sightings out there but let's go take a look at the weather it is now seven o'clock in the morning on the 16th and uh, nothing. So I had a very quiet day and it looks like the weather is holding up. So just a little bit of wind and a uh, very nice sunrise here on the South China Sea. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, do the things that we're told to do and the way that we do them is uh, by taking the boat yes, deep during nice weather. <laughs> per the Admiral's order, so take her down. So here we go. Give you some beautiful morning cinematics here if you're interested. Oh, check that out. Oh, wait. There we go. Look at that. Take her down. So, and apparently I've been cruising around with my periscope up. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Nobody told me that I was doing that. <laughs> Well, regardless, I guess we don't have to put the scope up today. <laughs> so, it's already up. Idiot. <laughs> hey, sailor. How much does it cost for a pirate to get his ears pierced? It's a buccaneer. Oh, come on, man. That's good. <laughs> I screw you. I'm going topside. <laughs> Maybe these guys appreciate my jokes. <laughs> Anyway, back to the map. <laughs> All right, folks, it's been a couple days here, and uh, we've had no contacts. Haven't even seen another sampan. And, uh, you know, I just I wanted to show you this gorgeous morning here that we have here on the uh, 17th, the morning of the 17th. Uh, we have very calm seas today. And so if we actually take a look at our weather report, there is no wind whatsoever and so this is dangerous weather for submarines just because in you know the clear calm blue of the South China Sea we can we, I mean airplanes might be able to spot us and so we're definitely going to do the things today and take the boat down here we go so uh, periscope depth all ahead two thirds but uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, your, your hallmark postcard moment here. I just want to show you what this game can do. Uh, and, uh, you know, despite all the chaos that's going on around in the world at this time, you know, there were moments like this. And uh, if you read a lot of the, uh, or even just some of the books out there about this, there were moments in a submariner's life where you got to see things that other people never get to see. And uh, this game's brought a little bit of that to us right here. So, cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff. And down she goes. Alright, hopefully we get we get a little something today, but uh, so far it's been a pleasure cruise for the last two days. <laughs> so, we'll catch you as soon as something cool happens. You, uh, you fellas having a good time over here? You, you, you both know that this ship doesn't have a radar, right? You're doing a mighty fine job of looking busy. <laughs> it's something your captain excels at. Carry on. <laughs> Where's my map? <laughs> there we go. All right, folks. It's been a few hours. Well, more than a few hours. We made it all the way to the top end of our patrol zone. Here we are on the night of the 17th. Uh, boats on the surface, very calm sea out there, uh, but we've had no luck at all in this entire half up here. So we're going to start making our way back towards the south here, and we'll probably just make loop-de-loops or much closer bands down here um, and try and catch anything that comes out of Camran Bay. That's going to be the plan until something comes up. Uh, in the meantime, I've been uh, messing with the crew a little bit, and uh, I think I found my favorite guy to tell jokes on here. And that will be uh, this gentleman right here, uh, Petty Officer Second Class, uh, Benjamin Adkins. We're going to call him Ben. 
All right, and so remember, he's on third watch. We'll find other guys on the different watches to pick on, but uh, let's go. Let's go see this serious young man here. So there he is, uh, Ben. How, how are things looking right now, buddy? <laughs> so <laughs> you need a refill on your coffee? <laughs> you know, how about another pirate joke? Huh? No, you want you want another pirate joke? Absolutely not. I can take it. <laughs> All right, let's get back to patrol here. So, off we go. <laughs> we'll uh, cut back in as soon as I decide to pick on somebody else or something interesting happens. So. Oh, we have an appearance by the ship's cat, who the captain probably forgot to feed. <laughs> So. <laughs> hey, what are you doing up there? <laughs> well, all right, I don't want to get bit. <laughs> all right, folks, we're back. Um, it is the morning of the uh, 19th. Just dove the boat on a pretty calm night, and we've made it all the way back down our patrol zone without spotting nothing. So there's a whole lot of nothing going on out there. Um, we'll cruise around for just a couple more days and then we'll phone it in and try and get ourselves a new uh, uh, patrol zone because uh, Japanese activity has died down quite a bit. Uh, so that's the plan, but um, here we go. Let's uh, meet somebody else on the crew today uh, since we should be on second watch. We are on second watch, and so let's go meet uh, Freeland A. Powers, Petty Officer, second class, who should be at the map table. Uh, hey Freeland, how are you? From now on, you are hereby known as Freeball, and so we have Ben on on third watch and Freeball on second. And uh, I, I I doubt that Freeball likes uh, pirate jokes too. Uh, Freeball, do you like pirate jokes? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're a rather stern-looking young man, so we're just gonna we're, we'll, we might pop one on you later. But uh, obviously, right now you're busy, so we'll leave you be. <laughs> Oh my god, everybody on this crew is so serious. <laughs> so serious. Alright, well, I guess we'll get back to the patrol then. Here we go. Ho hum, ho hum. Merchant spotted. All right, so we've got a contact here. My guess is this is another sampan, since we didn't hear him. Yep, sure is. Uh, changing up the search pattern here a little bit. Going to kind of stick to the, you know, closer to Camran Bay, um, and just kind of hope for the best here with the last two days of our patrol, but or at least this part of the patrol. But so far we got nothing, folks. <clears throat> so we'll just run it. Oh, never mind. I spoke way too fast. Sonar contact, warship, medium speed, closing. Look at that. <laughs> so, we got ourselves a contact, finally, after what, like five days? <laughs> when did we sink that, that heavy cruiser? On the 14th? And here it is on the 20th, so almost a week. And we actually have a bona fide contact. Let's figure out. Oh my goodness, look at this. Ooh. All right, we got to get a fix on these guys here and see where they're going because this is something big and gnarly. Oh, we got to kill the speed. We got to kill the speed here. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Whatever we got here, it is big and it is moving. And hopefully, we are in some kind of position to do something about this. Looks like they're coming right at us. One. Two. Three. Merchant, Merchants, we have got some kind of convoy going on here. That was this guy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is gorgeous. If this actually holds up, this is beautiful. Alright, well thanks for sticking with me here, folks. Because, uh... 
if that holds true, we are in a really good spot. Let's uh, murder all this junk off here. And let's get a fix on one of the merchants. Look at this. There's a ton of merchants in here. And it looks like it's coming towards us. I wonder if this is something coming back from invasion time. Um, we got to pick out a merchant out of this. I bet you this, these are merchants right here. So let's do one of those rather than one of the escorts here. Let's kill that off. Let's just pick this furthest guy out here and see what we can do. One, two, nah, that's not a merchant. It's dancing around way too much. Let's pick something else out. This is something that's got multiple escorts with it, and so the escorts are going to be doing loop-de-loops on the outsides. Um, let's hit the sonar. Not the radar. We don't have a radar. Sonar, they gotta be over here. Merchant, warship, warship, unknown. Oh my goodness, that sounds like a bigger warship. But we got a merchant at 3 2 and warships. We got a lot of warships. Folks, we got a task group here. I bet you the merchant is an oiler. We got something big and juicy here. And we are going to do what we can to figure out what it is. Yes, sir. All right, let's just grab one of these big boys here. This one's the furthest one out. So that's probably an oiler um, or the merchant. So let's grab that which means we'll see him a lot sooner than this guy, but this will give us our course and our speed. One, two, three. All right, that's good. Look at my pan. Oh, they're coming right for us. Look at that. Coming right for us. Let's uh, let's help them out with that a little bit. Let's go a little bit this way. What we got? Now, of course, this probably isn't totally accurate. Of course, but there were a lot of warship sounds in there, and so my guess is this is some kind of task group, which would make two task groups, possibly three. If we want to count that first one, uh, I don't. I didn't. I don't think we saw any cruises in there. Making 14 knots. This is definitely a task group. Definitely making 14 knots. All right. Ooh. Okay, boys. Yes, sir. Yep. General quarters. Got said, weather is. Oh, uh, we got a little bit of chop. Five meters per second. But it's pretty calm night. We got no moon. Do we? we? Got no moon tonight. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> this might prove to be a long video here. So, this is definitely something that we want to investigate. Um. Let's just go ahead and speed up. There's not really much else we can do, except for maybe not tr try very hard not to overshoot them. So we will head towards this course and this giant mess that's right here. Yes, sir. And speed up a little time. Yes, sir. Warship spotted. Maintain current orders. What do we got? That would be a cruiser. And that is definitely something we can get a fix on. So here we go. Bam. Where's my clock? Bam. One. This is a big task group. One. 
There's another ship. Two. Three. Oops. About right there. What do we got in here? These are escorts. Here's a cruiser right here. That's probably a cruiser. Looks like we got a big cruiser group. Uh, there might be something juicy in here too. Or juicier. Let's go ahead and wipe this stuff off of here. Yep, I get it, I get it. There's that some kind of yeah, like a tanker or an oiler with them. Something. That would be the merchant man. Uh, oh man, they're going to come right next to us. Check this out. Unless they zigzag. We are already in firing position. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe the luck. Holy crap, we got to open this up. We are too close. Oh, we could hit him with stern tubes. Yes, sir. Oh. I don't know. Mary, one, three, that guy's just cruising right along. How far are these guys? These guys got to be freaking close. Come to think of it, we might not have time to set up. 5,100 yards? Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a parallel course. We're going to use, or I mean a perpendicular course, and we're going to use the stern tubes on this so right about there and 90 so that will oh man start after after tor or torpedo rooms gonna get paid here folks maybe ships spotted. yeah I know there's probably all kinds of ships and so we're gonna do that um, let's go take a look at these guys real quick here Zero one three. Holy crap! Yeah, we got cruisers. We got all kinds of messes of destroyers in here. Moving fast, bearing oh one three. Oh, now we're turning. That is definitely a cruiser. Ship spotted. Yeah. Okay, take her down. Periscope depth. We're at two thirds. We don't have time to ID all these targets. There's transports in here as well, and cruisers, and looks like destroyers cruising around all over the place. We're going to catch holy hell on this one. All right, but we are definitely going to take a shot um, at whatever crosses our path. And that guy is damn close. Um, What's our escape? Yeah, okay, our escape is that way. Look at this. We got we got guys out here too. <clears throat> this would be one of those things where you want to take multiple shots, but um, we're just going to pick something and blow the crap out of it. I'd rather have one confirmed kill, especially if we're going to catch all the hell that we're going to catch for this. Look at that. These guys aren't even showing up on, on our sonar because there's so many of them. Um, oh crap, we should have radioed that in. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, let's set up our firing solution here um, real quick. And then we'll hit the silent button. But we are going to shoot uh, stern tubes. And so let's open those up here real quick. Q, 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 Q. And we know a cruiser is going to be at about 20 feet. So we're going to set them all high, 20 feet, high, 20 feet, 20 feet, and high, and aft, 20 feet, and high. And so uh, directly aft is 180, and 14 knots, we're going to give them a 15 degree lead angle, so 90 down to 75 and we're going to put the scope at 195 like that position keeper check check range or speed what was your speed I think it was 14 
Uh, actually, we didn't recheck their speed, so I'm glad I checked that. 12. 12 knots. Okay, that's probably that oiler that's slowing them down a little bit. Um, we're, we're close, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to make like a hole in the water because <laughs> we're gonna catch crap for this so here we go um, let's see back to my scope so yeah 15 speed of 12 check check and then range uh, max check check so notice that we're using stern tubes here so we're gonna make a perpendicular attack on something that way. Uh, let's switch to our night scope here. Uh, oh shoot, we got to redo that, don't we? There we go. Angle on the bow, 75. 70, 75. Check, check, yeah. Speed 12, check, check. And all the way down, check, check. There we go. Nope. No. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> 180, so 195. There we go. God dang, I almost totally jacked that up. Come on. What's going on here? There we go. Finally. God, you got to be very careful with this. Yeah, opening tube bait. So I think all our tubes are open. All right, up scope. Let's go take a look and see what we got, and we will make for the deep. And this might be a two-parter tonight, folks. So, oh my goodness, look at this. Let's pick a target. That is looks like another Maya. That's a great target. There's one right there too. And then these are little transports. That 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 guy right there is a little teeny tiny transport. Um, they're coming back rather than going to. So we're going to take out a capital ship on this one. Whoever, what is this guy right? That's a destroyer up front. Um, that's why they're only making 12 knots. It's because they got little transports with them. I recognize those guys from when uh, in the base game. You can run up uh, the coast of the Philippines and bump into a uh, a cruiser fleet that's uh, invading. And uh, it took me forever to identify those, but that's exactly what we've got right here. I know it's dark, <laughs> even with our night scope here. But um, this bad boy right here, he is our target. We're going to blow him out of the water. And as long as he doesn't move or spot us... We are going to bag ourselves a Japanese heavy cruiser again. And I, I sure hope there's nothing bigger in this convoy that we're missing. Nope. Doesn't look like a cruiser here, cruiser here, cruiser here. We're going to take out him. He's probably the flagship. <laughs> and then we're going to make for the deep. <laughs> So this is going to be fast and furious here, folks. So let's take the scope down. So 15 degrees. Are we on course? Yeah, we're, we're actually steering on course here. So although we're so damn close, this is a 1,200-yard attack. He's not going to be able to do much about it. Let's set up our protractor here. Right uh, where we think we'll be. So 15 degree offset, this line right here gets closer to that, pop the scope, do some shooting. Let us double check and make sure, triple check the things. So torpedoes, 20, uh, high on five, six, 20 and high, seven, 20 and high, eight, 20 and high. And I think my doors are open. Yes, <laughs> my doors are open. So make sure they're all open. Position keeper right here all the way down. Check, check, 12 knots. Check, check. 
one eight five minus seven five. Yeah, okay, minus fifteen degree offset on both. All right, check check up scope. Here we go. And we'll do the same thing we did last time. Hit them in the exact same spot. Oh, we still got a little bit of time. Not much, because this is not zoomed in. Not zoomed in. So. Oh, 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 we got so lucky. <laughs> this is twice after six days of of patience. We are about to get ourselves another Japanese heavy cruiser. Let's check his course. Make sure he's still on track. He's still on track. Yeah. So not zigzagging. But this guy here is going to see us, and he's going to be right on us. And so we will... We're going to have to play. We're, I mean, this is dangerous. This is really dangerous. Ideally, get, get that off there. <laughs> I mean, this guy here is going to go right over us. <laughs> Actually, that might screw up his attack. We just got to wait and see if we get pinged here. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Looks like he, this one might be a Maya. You might have two up front. Exact same profile though. It might be another Takao. I think there were only four of those in the entire war, uh, if I'm not mistaken. If we can bag two of them, that would be amazing. Yeah, we're just gonna blow the crap out of this guy. So. Bearing two, zero. Everybody cool. Everybody cool. Guys, 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 get on the silent stuff. Rig for silent running. There we go. Thank God it's working. Here we go. Let's see how many turrets he's got. Oh, man, I know it's hard for you guys to see. <laughs> I can't do nothing about that. He's got one, two, three turrets. The offset on this will be left. Shoot five. Shoot six. Shoot seven, eight, offset to the left. Oops, offset to the left. I always do this. Shoot eight. Take her down deep. Take her down real deep. Down scope. Two thirds. Oh, that destroyer's gonna be right on us. They're already whooping. They already spotted the tracks. I'm gonna fire star shells right over us here. I don't know if this guy can get away though. I don't know if he can turn fast enough. Current depth eight, zero. Let's see. Boom! Yes! That's one. Oh, look at that! We hit her in the magazines. She went up right away. Oh my gosh, look at the destruction. <laughs> we got it right in our main magazine. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Ooh. We got her with all four. Well, I think I think maybe one of them was a dud, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, if you can see this, get that damn clock off there. Look at the chaos. Just going down hard. Just going down, even keel, all the way down. She's just gonna slip right into the sea. Look at that. He just ripped her bottom out with that magazine explosion. So, because the last one we hit it right in the boiler. Uh, this one, we hit her right in her forward magazines, and they just went up. Look at the fire on this thing. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Japanese destroyers are probably pinging the hell out of us right now. Mm. We made it pretty deep though. We made it pretty deep and we are being quiet. Oh man, look at this. This is the, the destruction of... Oops, sorry. This ship, look how low in the water she is. She's just done. There's a destroyer coming right for us. We just went below the thermal layer. 
And just like her sister, she's going to go down stern first and be taken by the ocean, the cold Pacific at night. The South China Sea now has two large Japanese cruisers on the bottom, thanks to the USS Swordfish. And there she goes. And I don't hear any destroyers dropping depth charges yet, but oh my god. A task group like this size, it's going to take some time to get away from them. Get a few hardy survivors right here. And a whole bunch of fuel oil. And they are firing star shells all over the place, folks. So, uh, <laughs> this isn't the best time to break the video, but we're well over an hour here. Uh, maybe not so much with the edits. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to save this mess for the next video. So <laughs> we got ourselves a Japanese cruiser. <laughs> we're going to have to run for our lives here in a few minutes. Um, but uh, at this point in time, um, I I'm happy, even though uh, this isn't looking too promising. And there's a whole bunch of trouble coming our way. So, <laughs> all right, USS Swordfish Part 4 coming up. Hope to see you there. Take care now. Bye. <laughs>